Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Ali Boy and today I wanted to show you a very rustic old-fashioned dish and it's called Cordero al Chilindron which translates as a lamb stew slow cook with red peppers. It's so old-fashioned that it's nearly extinct actually, it's really hard to find in restaurants. You may get it in one or two up in the north of Spain but other than grandma's cooking it at home for a gathering, for a family gathering and so on. It's, um, yeah, it's really hard to see it out there. But it's a very traditional dish and, you know, dishes that has made it through centuries and that have become traditional, I think there's, that they are there for a reason. So uh, I'm hopeful that you guys try it at home. There's so many countries and cultures that love lamb and Spain is one of them. So uh, let's, let me show you the ingredients on how to cook it. We're gonna need diced lamb, flour, red peppers, tomatoes, carrot, extra virgin olive oil and a lighter olive oil, some pepper, salt, garlic, new potatoes, cumin, black pepper, white wine, fresh thyme, bay leaves and a bit more salt. First, we're gonna start by giving it a little bit of flavor into the lamb with the cumin and the black pepper and a bit of seasoning as well with the salt. Sprinkle it over the top and just give it a little mix. And we are then gonna coat it in the flour until it's sort of fully coated quite generously because this flour will um, have a very important duty later on which is to thicken up the sauce which is gonna be a lot of liquid in it and that's going to be the sort of the only thickening agent in the whole stew. Now we're gonna peel the carrots completely and cut it into very large chunks. It's gonna take quite a long time so we don't want it to disintegrate. Then we're gonna follow by deseeding the red peppers, cut them in half and you see with a couple of fingers you can sort of take the hearts out and then you easily remove the seeds by tapping it on the back. Cut it in quarters, put them on top of each other and sort of thinly slice. Do exactly the same with the Spanish onion, thin slices and we are going to dice the tomatoes in very small pieces. You can grate the tomatoes as well or even blitz them in a jack blender if that's easier for you. And now we are going to start with the cooking. Put a cast iron pan or an oven proof uh, pot into the highest heat. Pour the lighting color, olive oil and add the pieces of lamb. Coat them with the spices and the flour. Cook them on each side for about four minutes so that they sear and they keep as many of the juices as possible inside. If you have a lot of lamb, like it was my case, do it in two batches. I just showed you one. And then remove it again and set it aside. We're gonna add the thinly sliced red peppers and Spanish onions and cook them slowly for 10 minutes. Add your carrots, fresh thyme, bay leaves, and garlic cloves and again cook it for a further five minutes until they have a very nice brownish color they are starting to get a sticky sprinkle your paprika give it a good stir and 30 seconds later are your diced tomatoes which again you're gonna cook for another three minutes until it reduces down and then you can put your diced lamb back into the pot sort of stir it again let it deglaze on the bottom and pour the white wine. This again will lift off any sticky bits that has a stick on the bottom of the pan, which as you know, that is where all the flavor is and all that caramelization happens. Season with salt and pepper, bring the wine to, to the heat, let it reduce down, that will give a bit of acidity, it shouldn't take longer than a minute or two because the cast iron pan should be really hot and we are gonna follow it with the water. Pour uh, the recommended amount but depending on the size of your pot and the heat of your uh, burner you may decide to put a little less if necessary. Bring it to the boil and give it a good stir to make sure all the flavors linger together.
and now we are going to slow cook it in the oven at 160 degrees for three hours. After a couple of hours in the oven, you're going to start thinking about dinner, so we want to start cooking the perfect garnish. In a roasting tray, place your new potatoes with a few sprigs of fresh thyme, garlic cloves, a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and a bit of salt and pepper. Add a bit of water and this will help them not to dry out and you will see that they will come out absolutely perfect. I can't wait to try it. It's looking wonderful. Nice and golden, roasted new potatoes and the cordero al chilindron. Take a look at this lovely sauce. Untuos, quite dense and rich with loads of peppers and very softly cooked carrots. Take a look at this sauce as well. Let's just put a little bit more over there. Don't bother about the time stops, but anyway, I hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope you give it a go and let me know in the comment box below. All the best. If you enjoy the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.